In the heart of the Western Ghats, where the monsoon rains and the mists never rest, lies a gumbe, a land soaked in rain, legend, and time. Here, culture breathes through the forest. Villages wrapped in silence and green have passed down stories through generations. As you journey through winding roads draped in green, the rainforest surrounds you, vast, untamed, alive. trees form natural cathedrals, while waterfalls crash down steep cliffs, their thunder resonating through the valley. Each forest type supports unique ecosystems and biodiversity, reflecting India's ecological richness. Rainforests are one of them. Dense, evergreen forests characterized by high annual rainfall, typically exceeding 2,000 millimeters. Agumbe is a pristine rainforest ecosystem renowned for its biodiversity and ecological significance. Often referred to as the Cherrapunji of South India due to its high rainfall, Agumbe exemplifies the rich tapestry of India's forest types. Within this living jungle, creatures both rare and resplendent dwell. The green vine snake coils like emerald lightning among the branches. The elusive bicolor frog, painted in yellow and black, clings to the wet forest floor a tiny marvel in a world of giants. And above them all, the King Cobra reigns, graceful, intelligent, feared, and revered. through the shadows like a myth brought to life. I'm in the beautiful Western Ghats, Central Western Ghats, Agumbe. Agumbe is known for king cobras and of course the Western Ghats one of the hottest biodiversity in the world and this is good in several ways and very, very important, the highest rainfall in this region. I work on king cobras. I try to conserve king cobras here. And if you guys are interested in snakes or any wildlife, this is the best place to come and experience and learn. Wildlife is very, very important for the future. Please conserve them. A gumbe is not just a rainforest. It is a sacred bond between earth and sky, man and nature, past and present.